it is much bigger than just a few examples. In fact, there's so much intimidation, uh, other than just the legal things that we've heard about recently, whether they be a florist or a baker. Now, this wasn't just a florist who uh, wouldn't sell flowers to Mm -hmm. someone. She didn't want to participate in a ceremony that violated Mm -hmm. her convictions. Uh, That's something that should be allowed in our country, and and I'm going to keep fighting until everyone has the freedom to practice their faith. But all throughout this country now, there's so much intimidation. We often call it political correctness, where people are are just afraid to speak uh, and to stand up for things they believe in. Uh, That's something that we've got to stop. Uh, Part of what we do at at Heritage is, is to embolden people to help them understand that you're not imposing on anyone else or taking their rights away when you stand up for your own. Uh, So we can do that in a loving way, and um, and that's what we need to do. But at the same time, we need to insist that our God-given rights are preserved here in America. Mm. Well, I promise to return to the response to the book, Falling in Love with America. Again, a lot of stories about how people are in their communities and doing good and shining light. Book's been out for about a year. What are you hearing about it? Well, uh, just uh, like I'll give uh, an example, uh, uh, Bob Woodward in, in there, uh, Woodward in there, who has been working all over the country. He'll go into an inner city where there's a lot of poverty. He'll find someone who's doing the right thing and try to support them. But uh, he's found that the book shined some light on what he was doing, got him some more support, inspired some other people, and and it gave me a great platform to talk how about how wonderful this country is all around the country. So it's it's been a, a real asset to what we were doing, and um, it inspired me. And if that's all it ever did, it was worth writing. Well, Senator Jim DeMint, president of the Heritage Foundation, joining us today. Where can people find you online? Well, heritage.org is the best place to find what we're doing at, at Heritage, and uh, they can also go to, to uh, heritageaction.com. It's our sister organization that's more involved in political activity and grassroots organizations around the country. Well, we were having this conversation prior to your speaking to the NRB convention. Tell me what's on your heart to share with these Christian communicators. Well, I I can't, I'm not an expert on on film and (laughs) making movies, but they've asked me to talk about that just because we've worked so much on, on messaging. And yeah. uh, how, how do we uh, share the love of Jesus and, and film? How can we talk to people in a way that doesn't preach to them? Uh, and I, I'm certainly not a, an expert on filmmaking. There'll be a lot of folks on stage w- with me who are. But I think I can um, share a little bit about how a message needs to share the love of Christ. And when we do that, uh, it is very attractive to people, and it gives us a chance to communicate other ideas to them as well.